Hello everybody, it's Cindy and welcome to Cindy Lou Loves Glam 2 and no you've not stepped into a Dr. Seuss book. I just really like to rhyme things and if you're new here, welcome. I've mainly done uh, unboxings, reviews, makeup content such as that. If you're into that, please consider subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you for coming back to show you how much I love you guys. Uh, we will be doing a little bit of a giveaway today, but uh, today I also wanted to go through my Ipsy bag for the month of, see, where are we? November 2021. Elephant in the room, yes, I did change my hair color. No, I'm not quite crazy about it yet, even though other people seem to tell me that they like it a lot, so I don't know, <laughs> you know, uh, if you like it, you know what, I don't know if I even really want to invite those kind of comments. Any hoozy, I uh, would like to uh, start uh, screen recording whenever I make my Ipsy choices every month, and I've done that this month. Uh, just so that you can see the bag. Um, I can get something up earlier in the month and then I can also do a little bit of reaction and remembering of like what the choices are. You know, so maybe we can roast, roast the choices every month. I don't know. But um, let's go ahead and get on into that and uh, uh, stick around if you want to see uh, what is in the giveaway. So uh, they picked for me the Il Maquillage. Um, lipstick. It's in the color uh, Ar Aradina? Ara Ariadna? I don't know. Who can pronounce that? That's a weird name. Anyway, um, it looks like this nice uh, like dusty rose mauve color, so it looks pretty. So obviously I've gotten my bag by now. Um, this was filmed much, much earlier in the month. So anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and show the products here. Here is the bag. I you know it's royalty, so I guess we have these weird symbols on here. It's different feeling from the rest of the bags because it actually feels like felt or um, just, I don't know, a little bit more, I don't want to say furry, but fuzzy. Fuzzy might be the better word than most of the other Ipsy bags that we've gotten so far. Okay, so here are the products that Ipsy chose for me. We have the Il Maquillage lipstick, which is kind of a cool package. It is magnetic. It's kind of like this dark uh, mauve shade and you can really see the texture in there. Oh, the camera's not really doing this well. It looks a lot more orange than it should. In real life, this is a lot more pink. I don't know, maybe I should turn down my light a little bit. So I guess you can see a little bit more of the mauviness there. It does smear real easily. It just doesn't seem to last very long for me, so I don't know if it's my favorite lipstick formula. And then um, it looks like we have an Eloise uh, Beauty Glitter Jewels Liquid Eyeshadow in bronze. I'm not a big liquid eyeshadow fan. We have the Eloise Liquid Eyeshadow in bronze. And as you can see here, it's just a simple copper. I'm not going to swatch this on the chance that I end up giving it away. And I'm choosing my items. And of course, of course I'm gonna choose of course I'm going to choose the Nomad Cosmetics. I mean, come on. Um, it's a new palette. Nomad is one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. I've been looking forward to this palette. And um, ah, as a matter of fact, um, I have the Haunted Europe palette on my eyes currently. So this is the Ve Venice Simpl Simplone Express Intense Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks like it's got a little bit of everything, some reds, some greens, some blues. So that's pretty cool. The only thing that I was bummed out about is that I did want to try that uh, Thrive Cosmetics um, mascara, but honestly, if it came down to Nomad or the Thrive Cosmetics, like, I knew what I was gonna choose. So, and I had a feeling that that was what was gonna happen. So, this is what it looks like. Very neutral eating with some big pops of uh, red and blue and a little bit of green there. Go ahead and swatch some of these. I can tell you that that red and the blue is very pigmented. 
I don't know if you can catch that, but this is definitely a little bit of a duochrome. Yeah, look at that. This is one of the reasons why Nomad's like one of my favorite eyeshadow brands, because, you know, they have like these smooth buttery matte formulas, but they also still know how to bring bring it um, as far as like pigment and color and just even just interesting shades go. And that pink, the prettiness of that pink is not picking up on camera here. Of course, it's also not picking up well over my eczema streak from my watch band either, but like, I really wish I could like get the shine on that because it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you can see it a little bit better if I turn down the light just a little bit. But you can see that blue and that red is vibrant. That pink, <laughs> the pink has like almost like a glowing look to it. It's really pretty. I've used it a few times and I, I really like that pink. And then I also love this um, greenish gold um, to brown duochrome here. And then down here, our second choice, I think this was a little bit tougher for me. They gave me another Il Maquillage color that I know I probably would never wear. And I've never tried Kimchi Beauty before, so I think that's why we went with what we want. Went with, you know, beauty blenders are a dime a dozen. Who cares? Um, and I did consider the brush for a minute, but like I've got so many like big paddle brushes and I don't use all of them. So I didn't need another brush. Um, and uh, even if I had chosen like the Il Maquillage lipstick and gone, gone, gotten a twofer, I have a feeling that Ipsy might have sent me something different anyway, because this happened one time, um, and I don't, I think I may have filmed this but never uploaded it, but um, the Item Beauty stuff, so they selected the moisturizer, the Item Beauty moisturizer for me back a few months ago. Um, and then one of the only other choices were like, um, in a group that I actually liked was the item lip oil and they ended up running out of all of that. And they sent me a Gerlactic one instead, a Gerlactic lip balm. And I'm like, if I'd known that you were going to run out of that, then I probably would have selected something different. So I did choose the Kimchi Chic Beauty. That does look like a really light uh, blush. So I don't know how that's really going to work for me. And it looks like this very cute, like, <laughs> I don't know, almost like kid, like Polly Pocket Barbie type compact here. And then you open up and here's the, uh, there's a little bit of a mirror here. Um, obviously I've worn down on this, but you can see the kimchi. So here is the pink part and here is what I believe to be the rosé part. It's very smooth, but let me tell you, these are pigmented. I've worn them and, and they, they're pigmented and they actually last like a really, really long time. Longer than some of my other blushes, which, you know, of course, leave it to a drag queen to come up with uh, makeup that's gonna be sweat proof and day proof in general. So that's the two shades and then obviously if you sweat if you swatch them together they also create this nice beautiful third shade there which is really pretty too. The next choice was also like really kind of tough for me. Um, you know yeah, I thought about the face masks um, I don't really need hair accessories. I usually wear my hair down. Um, and honestly, it's hard to, it's honestly hard to give up like a nice Ofra cheek palette like that because Ofra makes such great blushes and highlighters and cheek product. I did consider for a moment uh, the best face forward, uh, but you know, I already have so many cleaners and I don't, you know, I just, so I'm getting two face products. I'm getting like two eye products and two face products and then so I did also 
because I've heard such great things about the Thrive Cosmetics, it looks like you could pick it up in an add-on. So I got it as an add-on. So yay, we've got that coming. Um, it has the shades Pink Satin, the highlighter shade Soho, and Peachy Paradise for the blush. Here's what it looks like. It is very similar, unfortunately, to the shades in here. But you can pop them out and put them in a bigger magnetic palette if you want. That uh, highlighter is probably a little too dark for me. Honestly, this shade reminds me a lot of the Georgia Peach blush that we just got, so I could just use it as a sparkly blush too. I'm very uh, happy with my choices. Um, the lipstick looks nice. It's a great color. It's nice to be trying out Kimchi Beauty. I absolutely love Nomad Cosmetics. I'm fine with Tate trying Eloise Beauty. I think I may have gotten a few of their products before, so. And then, of course, Ofra. I think this was a banging bag this week, this month. I mean, I was able to get all makeup. Finally got all makeup, guys. Like, I know after, like, Months and months and months of complaining of nothing but skincare. Like, we finally got some makeup. So, um, and it looks like, you know, all of these kind of go together. I'm going to be able to get a full face look out of it. So, I don't know about you, but I'm very excited. What did you think? Do you, did you like the choices this month? Did you try it? You know, like, is this something close to what you're getting? Um, I don't know. Just let me know. Okay, so I said giveaway. So in this giveaway, I've already got another one out. I don't remember if I'm going to put this video out before that. So if this video goes out before that, it'll be my old hair, but there'll be another giveaway up then. Um, but this is the... Um, the first item in the giveaway is the Laura Geller, Geller Urban Garden Central Park uh, Face, Eye, and Cheek Palette. I'll show you the back here. You know what? I'll go ahead and open it. I'm not going to open everything in here because I just, I don't want to do that, but I have opened this one before just to check it out. I have not used it. You see the, the, the thing is still in place, but very nice, pretty neutral palette. I've heard a lot of good things about these, um, Laura Geller, uh, face palettes and, um, you know, I, I was tempted to try it myself. I just know that I'm never going to use, you know, this. I'm probably not going to reach for it that often, so I'd rather share it with you all. Okay. Um, we also have this um, Cream Shot uh, clean, clean Canvas Cushion Primer. Um, I went through a makeup revolution phase, guys, so I don't know. But this is actually my favorite of the chocolate, the I Heart Revolution chocolate line, but this is the mint chocolate, but this is the color story. And then um, I'm not going to open this up. You can kind of see what it looks like, but this is the I Heart Revolution unopened uh, fruit and nut um, chocolate palette. I ended up with like three of those. Don't ask me. Don't ask me why, but um, it's like the, it's an okay palette except for the purples, which is, you know, kind of why you buy the palette. So, <laughs> but you know, it's makeup revolution and it's free to you. So that's all I can say. Maybe you can make it work better than I can. Um, the next we have this Nelson Beverly Hills moisture healing mask here. Um, we also have a who is this brow lights brow lights. Uh, camera action duo brow high duo brow highlighter pencil so I think there's two different um, highlighters on the end and it's in the shade light um, we have a Ciate London uh, triple shot double uh, XL mascara um, we have a oh this will definitely be the Laura Geller bundle then. Um, we have the Laura Geller uh, Dew Dreamer Illuminating Drops, and this is in the shade Gilded Honey. Um, I don't want to like, I don't want to open the, I'll open it to show you what it looks like, but I'm not going to like open the bottle or anything here. But yeah, you can see it's a very, you know, golden champagne-y color. And... Then we have the Physician's Formula um, Butter Balm, Butter Lip Balm in the shade um, Mauvin to Brazil. So it's a very mauve tone. I kind of wanted to keep things together that were kind of um, 
similar in color so you could kind of get a full face out of it if you could. Okay, and then finally we have the uh, Billion Dollar Brows, 60 Seconds to Beautiful Brows. Yes, I know, this is in another, this is another repeat in another uh, giveaway. I ended up getting it twice, so. So, what do you need to do to get all of these things? Well, I need you to be subscribed publicly. You need to provide um, your Instagram um, handle or some other way of getting a hold of you. Um, I am also somebody who definitely practices um, safety on the internet. Uh, <laughs> and so I also understand like if you wouldn't want to put like an email address or anything in there, but I do feel like an Instagram handle, it's a little bit easier for me to um, see you. I would say Twitter, but I think, I think I have to be following you to be able to like contact you. So I have to have some way of contacting you. If you don't feel comfortable putting any kind of that information in the comment, um, then please, uh, put in the comment, um, and I'll have all of this in the details box below, but put in the comment, contact me through YouTube. Okay. And so that will let me know your comment got, gets randomly selected. I need to reply to your comment to let you know that you won. Basically, you will then have like 48 hours to contact me through my email address uh, down in the description below. Again, uh, to claim your prize, and if not, then I'll have to move on to the next person. As to what I also want you to comment on, I've stopped buying Jeffree Star products. Um, I think I explained that in a video, cremated video. But I got this in an unboxing last year. Um, I do have the Jeffree Star uh, Cosmetics Alien Palette. It's brand spanking new. And I guess my question to you all is, uh, do you feel offended if I were to put this in a giveaway? Number one, I recognize that it's coming up to that because I think it was released in 2018, so it's coming up to that three-year mark where like they might consider it consider it expired and I get that and then I also get that like he and his products are offensive to other people but the thing is is like I already paid for it and I ended up getting a duplicate like I had bought the palette before so um and I didn't really feel like like I needed <laughs> another one it's it's a nice palette it's a fine palette it's great especially if you like greens and grungy colors would you feel offended if if I did give this away in a future giveaway? You know, a simple yes or no will do. You could either say yes or give me the alien emoji down in the comment below. You could also do like that girl, like the girl crossing arms no emoji, so. Hey, just wanted to go over some other things that I forgot to go over. First of all, the contest will close on December 15th, 2021 at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is also open only to U.S. residents or if you have a U.S. postal address for me to mail it to. I really can't do international shipping right now. I really can't afford it. I'm a very small channel and I am paying for all of this out of my pocket. So. And just to review, you must be publicly subscribed. You must leave a comment with your contact info and answer the question provided in the video. And you can always just go see the description for all of the details and the rules. Good luck to all of you all. That's it, that's all I got. You can feel free to follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I'm terrible about updating both. I just, y'all, this year has been, crazy when it comes to work and family. I'm probably not treating this like a business, you know, and I don't think I'm really trying to be like anybody who's a superstar anyway. So I'm trying my best, but you know, I gotta be a mama first and I gotta make sure I bring home the bacon. Bob, I've got one of those jobs that you can't just really leave at work, you know. Um, it spills over into other parts of life too. Okay. Anyway, that was a long-winded way of saying, I'm sorry I don't post on Instagram or Twitter very often. And with that, have a great day, evening, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.